Hello everyone and happy Friday. <laughs> happy Friday everyone. So today I'm on with Danea Devine and she is the Ellie Sue Sculpt by Bonnie Brown and she was brought to life by Miss Beverly from Beverly's Babies and Today I wanted to come on and participate in a tag and this tag is created by Erica Jones and the name of her channel is Erica's Pre Precious Ones Nursery. So today, oh I hook a little um, okay. So today what I'm doing is I'm just, it's been a while since I made a video of Danae and again the dust. So I'm just using this damp cloth to clean up the dust. So for anyone who like persons who are new collectors, this is one way you can clean your vinyl babies using only water on the washcloth and this is one of those inexpensive uh, combination of polyester and cotton very thin yeah I find that this really cleans the babies well the vinyl and also the silicone babies yeah so it's been a while since I made a video of um, of Danae and I think it's been four months so she has just been sitting there are times when I um, interact with the babies at night so I just may brush their hair and stuff but for you know but you know for, for most in most cases you know the babies just sit for a while so they tend to collect us yeah so i'm just wiping her up all right so today i wanted to participate in a tie created by erica's precious ones nursery <laughs> and um i was excited to see that she had created a tie she said it's her first tie yeah so it's actually four questions so um, let me show you what I'm going to dress Danae in. Yeah, so just, and she really was not that dusty, honestly, because I recall interacting with her at night a few times. So I'm pretty sure I had, um, I had uh, done some things to her. So I'm just using water on this Q-tip just for in her eyes just to clean and what I do when I wet the Q-tip I always squeeze because I prefer it just to be damp I don't want it to be uh, soaked in water because I don't want the water to drip into her eye so I'm just using it damp just to clean the eyeballs and also the eyelashes because if you notice the eyelashes tends to collect dust too yeah so she's pretty good okay let me get in the nose <laughs> yes guys all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change her. She needs a pompous change. I'm gonna take her off of this onesie also. Yeah, the thing about these onesie, onesies I notice is that, because you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the, <laughs> guys, let me not, okay, let me tell you a little bit about the tag, because I'm kind of saying things that relates to the tag. So before I go any further, let me just, um, tell you what the tag is about the tag is asking the, qu the question the name of the tag is how do you collect how do you collect so uh, 
question number one do you see your dolls as just inanimate objects or as babies okay so first of all let me say this um okay let me answer the question first because my mind kind of went someplace else I see these babies as both uh, I know they're inanimate objects because they're not real uh, they're not breeding there's no activities they're just an object just like this bracelet on her wrist is an object just like this ring is an object just an object no life no nothing but because this sculpt is sculpted to look like a real baby and she is painted so beautifully she she gives the illusion of a real baby so I react to her as a real baby there are certain things that is a must in my collecting in order for me to feel that bond first of all I I am not drawn to just any doll I think I've said that in my videos in the past I'm not drawn to just any dolls no you have some persons who just love dolls and I could appreciate that you have some who collect Barbie dolls they collect different types of dolls I'm not that kind of collector it has to be something real special that draws me to the doll now I collect I don't collect anymore but I did collect American Girl dolls that was something I got into for me and my daughter because growing up myself I had never seen a real beautiful doll growing up I had only seen one doll once in my life and I'll probably mention a little story about that doll later but um, what attracted me about the American Girl dolls is the size was one. I loved the idea that it was an 18 inch doll. I loved the idea that they were very good quality because there were adult collectors that bought these American Girl dolls for their children and they have had their dolls like for years and years. They're like generation um, dolls that were passed on to their to them and also to their children so I love that idea and American Girl dolls there even though they were a wig it's a very good quality wig so that's what drew me to the American Girl dolls so and another factor too is that American Girl doll company also made black dolls yes they did a variety of different skin tones uh, and that drew me in because growing up I had only seen one black doll in my whole lifetime growing up and this is the same doll okay let me mention this doll okay I'm gonna go ahead and change her pampas this is a newborn size pampas and this is the Ellie Sue sculpt Ellie Sue wears newborn and pampas and also newborn and baby's clothing now I'm pausing because I'm just realizing I didn't bring her a pampas <laughs> what you know what guys I'm gonna have to pause you and come right back I'll be right back okay I'm back so she's going to wear the size one huggies and okay let me tell you a little bit about a, a childhood experience I had my Oh, this is what she looks like in all of her glory <laughs> okay so my uh, as a little girl uh, my mom really didn't buy toys for her children dolls no 
she really didn't she was more focused on I guess life paying the bills making sure her children had their needs rather than their wants so um, there was this neighbor newlywed uh, man and woman they had a little girl and there wasn't very much children that lived through my corner it was okay the neighbor lived directly next door to my mom it was just in terms of girl children I'm saying it was me and my sister we were young I don't remember how old maybe seven eight and then next door on the opposite side was my mom's good friend and she was growing up two granddaughters and these granddaughters was around the same age as my sister and I and um, what the neighbor had done next door the lady uh, who was married to her husband had a little girl her little girl was maybe two years old she had called my sister and myself over privately it was just the three of us and she had asked us if we had seen her, her, her little girl's doll now I didn't have a clue what this lady was talking about at all I told her no you know I, I don't know anything about I have never seen any toys from this little girl or anything in fact my mom didn't let us interact with any children through the corner but this little girl was too young anyway she was only like two years three years old anyway cut a long story short apparently apparently the neighbor on the opposite side had stolen this little this doll and I guess when the lady approached the other two girls asking question I don't know I don't know what happened but all I know is we were very friendly with the two granddaughters so one came over with the doll right she was afraid so what she had done was she showed the doll to my sister and I I looked at the doll guys this was the most beautiful black doll I had ever seen as a child this doll had a thick hair head of curly hair jet black hair this doll was when I tell you this doll was dark this is the first time I ever knew a doll was made black and beautiful I've never seen a doll so beautiful ever it shocked me I, I could still remember the shock I felt seeing this doll like that like I immediately had a connection to this doll but of course this doll belonged to the next door neighbor so what the little girl did was she showed it to me and my sister and then she left it in the yard so I guess apparently the neighbor you know probably took the doll inside when she saw the doll I don't know whatever really happened I don't know she never asked me or my sister any questions as to who returned the doll nothing like that and I don't know what happened in terms of the other two girls I, I don't know I didn't question I was young I didn't understand what was going on you know all I remember seeing was when the girl came to return the doll she showed it to my sister and I and this was the most beautiful doll I had ever seen anyway I say that to say this I have to feel that connection to the doll I have to and I felt this connection with American Girl dolls but not to interact as babies you see but I felt a connection um, and I also felt a connection with uh, two or three other different brand dolls like I say I don't collect all dolls I I, I'm, I just 
collect a very few collection like very few selection like my twin dolls and um, what else I think that's it but with the with the lifelike dolls these baby dolls you know I I know they're not real I know they're just objects I know they have no feelings but the fact that they look so real and the fact that she is painted so realistic her sculpting is beautiful it draws me to her as if she's a real doll therefore I respond to her as a real doll I dress her in baby clothes I'm the kind of collector that like to see my babies I do so all my babies stay in a playpen in my bedroom or in the bouncer but recently uh, over the years I've noticed recently like I've noticed that the more dolls I collect the less interacting with the doll because I have to share my attention with all the dolls so I may get to make a video of Danae today and making the videos help me to connect with my dolls and I'm the kind of collector that I interact more with my dolls on video and I will tell you this if I was not making videos I would not have this many dolls in my collection I would not I may have two or three max no more than that but because I enjoy making videos that's that that's that's the main purpose why I continue to collect because I love sharing my dolls I love interacting with um, the moms in the community but I can tell you if I was not making videos I know there are many persons out there who make who, who do not make videos they're private collectors like they can have a beautiful setup at home and you will never know because they enjoy their babies privately I am not like that I can do that with one or two dolls three marks three marks but I I could never collect more than maybe three dolls if it's privately I, I just couldn't I enjoy sharing my dolls publicly I do all right uh, next question do you have a limit or number of dolls you can collect at once all right guys so um, I changed Danae out of that onesie and pampers into a fresh onesie and pampers let me show you what she's going to wear she's going to wear this um, floral onesie and it's great for um, for fall yes it's like a hunter green and it has the different color flowers it has mustard navy blue white pink and it has this burgundy bow at the neckline it's long sleeves and um, yeah it's made by Cardis in the newborn size now I don't know if any babies have worn this I don't remember but she's going to wear this with a blue or should I say navy blue headband to accessorize that just to keep with the fall look and she's going to wear these booties that was okay so my video cut off I am hoping it recorded I'm hoping it did so I'm gonna start at question number two and I have to to rush now <laughs> because that's already 10 minutes I hope it I hope it did on record so question number two do you have a limit or number of dolls you can collect at once no, I, I don't have a special number 
that I like to collect. But I can tell you, during my collecting, what I've noticed, I've noticed that I do not have space. I don't. Right now, I have, uh, let me see, I have four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight dolls. I have two that I painted. I'm not counting them. I'm counting the ones that I did not paint. I have eight, and then I have two to come, which will make ten. And let me tell you guys, I don't have any more space. I don't. So my space also determines how much I'm going to collect. I don't have any space. I have... Um, I have three, four, five, six. I have six large bands. And each band have from preemie to nine month size clothing. And those six bands are kept in two closets, two separate closets. And, um, I just don't have any more space so because I don't have any more space see each baby draws so much accessories each baby does because I'm the kind of collector that like to buy with each baby that comes into my collection even though my babies share clothing there are special items that I like to buy for each individual baby and and even though I buy an outfit or or I buy uh, or I nest for each individual baby, they still sh Hey guys, my battery needed to recharge, so I had to take a break. So I don't remember exactly where I left off, but I know I was on question number two, so I'll start from question number two. Do you have a limit or number of dolls you can collect at once? Yeah, I think I, I, okay, I think I started to mention that. I don't have a special number, but I think, I don't have a special number, but this is what I noticed started to happen. As I collect more and more, I realize that I'm running out of space. I don't have any more space for uh, the baby's accessories. I have six large bands that is completely full and they're kept in two separate closet. I don't have any more space left where my babies are kept. So in truth, I don't have any more space. I don't. The only little space I have left is right in front of the air condition, right next to Soren and the bouncer. I am the kind of collector that love to see my babies. I don't like to cover them. I love to see them. And that's the problem. That's the reason why I had the problem of dust collecting. Uh, but now that I know how to manage the dust, I am good. You know, using those washcloths are very, very helpful. So, my babies have to be next to me. I can purchase another bouncer and put it right next to Soren, but that's going to take up my little walking space, and I don't want to do that. And I have a feeling my husband would have an issue with that if I was to do that. So I really don't want to do that. So, um, so I, I'm realizing now that my limit, I'm at my limit now. So what will have to happen is I would have to sell babies to get a new baby because I need to free up some space. I can't keep collecting and I don't have the space. So if I want a new baby, I would have to um, sell one of the babies that I have to make room. I would have to. And I really don't want to do that. 
So I'm just going to have to make the best of my situation as is. Yeah. So that's what I realized. I realized I do not have the space to keep collecting. So 10 is actually my max. Yeah, 10 is my max. Okay, so question number three. Do you keep your dolls on shelves or store them away? No, I, I don't. Okay, I don't keep my dolls on shelves, but I have thought about it. But I am not the collector that wants to store dolls on shelves. I don't because I, I prefer the dolls to be treated like babies. Meaning a real baby would not be on a shelf. So I prefer to see the dolls. And a bouncer. And the playpen. Uh, uh, the fact that I've run out of space. That alone. Tells me that. I'm at my limit. I, I cannot. See if I sell a baby. Then. I would pack clothes and accessories for that baby so that would free up some space so for the new baby coming in and nesting for the new baby the new baby would take that space you see but I don't have room to keep adding no I'm at my limit I'm at my limit but I think if I had the extra space I probably would probably add more i don't think i would go over 15 but i think i probably would because i'm realizing that the more babies i collect the less time i get to spend because the way i interact with my babies is when i'm done with danae then i have to interact with all the other babies before i interact with danae again that's how i like to do it except there's like there's exceptions an ex exception would be if I have a request for another baby then I would bring on that baby or if I have a new baby if I have a new baby I like to make two or three videos back to back with the new baby I want to introduce the new baby and then I want to make two or three ch like like changing videos of the new baby I like to interact with the baby so you can see the movements. You want to see how the baby is sculpted, how it falls. Yeah, I like to do that. Because that is something that I look for in my collection. I like to see, I like to know how the sculpt is going to, um, where it is going to be flexible. Because I have had a baby before that the sculpt wasn't flexible it was the way it was sculpted the way the arms and legs were sculpted it didn't fall cuddly and I had an issue bonding with that baby see so those are things I look for look out for so question number three do you keep your oh I, I had already answered that no shelves and I don't store away I like to see my babies and um I could still see Jules peeping. <laughs> I could still see her peeping, but I'm at my max. Number four. Do you have to regularly interact with your dolls in order to keep them in your collection? Um, I no, I don't I don't have to regularly interact. I still find some time to interact with them little by little like at night when hubby's asleep you know he goes to bed pretty early I'm up later than he is so um because I'm up a little bit later than hubby I get to interact with the babies for like 10 minutes or so at night and sometimes like if they're dressed I could undress them brush their hair and put them back in the playpen or a bouncer so I still get to do some kind of interacting so I still feel my bond but you know I don't 
leave the babies completely except one baby I, I didn't interact with um, Rarity for four months I didn't and the reason why I didn't is because Rarity is kept far in the back of the bouncer and she is heavy she is heavy so to lift her in and out <laughs> I just decided to just leave her you know so I, I did feel myself like um, not pulling away from rarity but um, like not in a rush to interact with her but the minute I did like in my last video then I had a whole flood of emotions came back to me see for me the baby has to be realistic it has to be painted and rooted realistic it has to be or else I will not born I have had um, one baby my first little boy I lost my bond very very early on he was not painted realistically uh, he was accustomed I had sent him to have his hair painted professionally and it was really nice but his paint was not realistic and his paint started to fade like his limbs his face was okay but his arms and legs started to look like a blank skull and I just it it just galled me I just couldn't deal with that so with him I had stored him away until I found a new mom for him but in selling him I completely made it known what his issues were I completely made it known because I didn't want the mom to feel like I deceived her into adopting a beautiful, well-painted baby. No, I made it known that this doll, I do not see any modeling, veining. Uh, there's nothing. I said he just looked blank. <laughs> Except his face did have some, I could see more um, details in his face. But there was absolutely nothing in the arms and the legs you see and, and and that and I would have loved to just gift him out like to a family member like my sister loved dolls but she is fascinated with hair so it didn't make sense for me to give gift her a painted hair doll all right guys so I think I've completed my four question tag I feel like I was all over the place because my camera kept cutting off so I don't even remember if I got to make certain points that I think was important all right everyone so I think that is it so again this is Denea Devine and she is the Ellie Sue sculpt by Bonnie Brown and she was brought to life by Miss Beverly from Beverly's Babies. Yeah. And I'm just in awe of her. She is beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So like I say, I'm, I'm one of those collectors. I, I'm not a collector of every, every doll. I understand, you know, for some persons, they could collect any doll and they love that doll. That's fine. I'm not that kind of collector uh, you know I, I cannot collect every doll it ha I have to feel it it has to it has to um, pull at my heartstring and only very few dolls pull at my heartstring you know all right everyone so I want to thank Erica Erica's precious ones for the tag and I welcome more tag so thank you all so much for watching and please you guys let's all get together and participate in the tag and please also go over to Erica's Precious Ones Nursery and, and uh, you can watch her participate in this tag herself. 
all right guys so thank you all so much bye bye